What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. And in today's video, we are gonna be looking at the new character, Dirk Savage. So as you can see on my screen, I have him opened up in blue stacks. Um, the situation is the same on my Android 10 phone. Where are the skills? Luckily, uh, I was able to get some screenshots with my Android 9 device. Now I updated all these things yesterday. I could see the skills after updating today or this morning or you know, 12 hours ago or whatever at the beginning of the season to see the season assets and you know the the chest, the new chest opening up, which is a huge waste of time. Uh, I've already opened all my chests, so I can't show you that today. Um, but luckily, I did get some screenshots, so we're gonna go take a look at all those skills. Okay, here we are on Dirk Savage's kit. Um, like I said, lucky I was able to get some uh, screenshots going on there. And we got Laser Trap, his ultimate special active ability. Um, pretty interesting looking kit, uh, I do have to say. Laser Trap, target enemy at range 3, deal energy damage, inflict root for 5 seconds. Now at level 75, this unlock ability is pretty bonkers. Inflict stun for three seconds if this target is stunned. So basically he's adding three seconds to their stun. Um, now that'll be from that moment. So let's say this, uh, I, I'm assuming, but I'm pretty sure that, let's say this the target was stunned for three seconds. This target has been stunned for two seconds when he hits it. It is now three more seconds from that moment. So it's, I don't think it'll go to six seconds. It'll just be five. It'll be three seconds from the moment he hits this skill. But still, three extra seconds of a stun, extending a stun any amount of time, is insane. And he does the same for disarm, silence, and slow. Which means this laser trap just debilitates anybody that already has some sort of negative status effect on them for the most part. And at level 71, 5, he's going to inflict negative 1 haste per haste the enemy has for 5 seconds, effectively taking them to zero haste. But what I'm curious about is if they have negative haste, will two negatives make a positive? Does he still turn someone with negative haste to a flat zero? Probably not, but devs, please clear that up for me if you're checking this out. Okay, so his first auto skill at unlocks at level 10 is laser tethers. Uh, the target of the enemy at range 3 deal energy damage half as much as his ult, but he also inflicts negative 50 strength and disarm and root for 4 seconds. So he's basically just like stopping someone from being able to do anything with his laser tethers. And at 100, he's going to inflict negative 100 extra strength and 100 negative 50 focus for 4 seconds to targets without defense. So um, early in the match when defense is out there or when defense is being given out a bunch, um, that second part is not going to proc. But if there's no defense on that character, they are going to be nerfed completely with no ability to do damage. Now, one thing that's really interesting is that He's not, he doesn't reduce any focus unless they don't have defense. So blaster characters are going to have a little more edge on being able to fight against Dirk. Just speculating based on the way that this skill reads right here. So his first auto skill is dead or alive. Gain 25 armor, haste, and focus per enemy within range 3 that is stunned, disarmed, rooted, slowed, or silenced. Once again, you see this theme where he likes his opponents to have negative detriment. So... You're going to want to partner him with other characters that stun, disarm, root, slow, silence. Of course, a lot of characters do these things, um, so it's all about trying to get a little bit of everything in there. Um, and when attacking, uh, of course, make sure these things leave. When attacking, he uh, land. Uh, gains seven defense. Of course, that's going to scale with his turtle power. So if he has a thousand turtle power, that's going to be 7,000 defense, I, I believe. Or is it 700? Anyways. You'll see as you level him up. If the target is stunned, disarmed, rooted, silenced, or slowed, right? Uh, so, once again, getting all those things. Okay, his second passive is called Spread Shots. And imagining Spread Shot, I'm imagining Contra, but basically he hits the guys standing next to him. It's like splash damage, right? When attacking, he inflicts negative defense and deals damage to enemies at range 2 and within range 1 of the target. So he's actually shooting a bunch of people, right? He has uh, a range two of this. So I don't know if it's because he's got the two guns, if he's able to shoot twice, um, which may be coming up in the next skill. Hint, hint. Um, but um, definitely going to be doing some splash type damage. And he also inflicts negative three barrier for 30 seconds to all targets. So that's everyone. 
far as I can tell. Probably all targets that he's able to hit within range two. So um, at 225, so that's pretty pretty nasty because he with every attack when he attacks. So that means that negative three barrier is going to stack. He does blaster damage, really stacking a bunch of blasters together. Looks to be the new going to be the new meta. We had a lot of physical damage for a long long time. I think devs are trying to get us into some blaster damage, having some more energy damage uh, effects having out there. It's also uh, a lot less defense, uh, you know. Bonus barrier is a lot harder to come by, I think, than armor um, in kits so far. So we'll, we'll see. And his final uh, skill, uh, auto skill, double tap. Uh, target enemy at range 3. And another enemy at range 1 of them deals energy damage to each target. So basically gets to target two characters that are standing next to each other. This is basically anti-Leonardo or Samurai Leo. And when I think about how they benefit from people standing next to them, um, this is going to really... Um, kind of shut that kind of uh, stuff down. And then he deals extra damage per status among stunned, rooted, slowed, disarmed, silenced, affecting the target. So it's very similar to what we saw in the changes they've done to Dementor. Now Dementor does it for all affected, like negative barrier, negative focus, negative strength, are all gonna help Dementor. But here we still have those big five, stunned, rooted, slowed, disarmed, silenced. So if you can get all five of those effects on the opponents, the targets, um, he's going to be able to do tons of damage. So already I'm just thinking about the people that I would likely partner him with and with the, the reworks. Uh, my new imagining dream team, of course, if everything was balanced, not considering uh, dimension levels and stuff like that. We have Rockin' Raph, Dirk Savage, Shredder, Mona Lisa, and Toka. Like I really think that the five of those together would just really be a one nasty team to deal with. Um, of course, there's many variations you guys could do with that, but um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking where, where Dirk's leaning. Of course, he could, he could work really well with other blasters like the Mentor and Dreg and um, Skarg even. Skarg is one of the only tunes that has a silence now. That I think there's only the, the two, just Skarg and, um, and uh, Rock and Wrath. There may have been one other that's silenced, but I think that's it. So, um, that's Dirk Savage's kit. You know, there there he is. Um, are you guys excited about about getting him? Um, the only way to get him right now is through the season pass. Now, every other season, um, I started covering content in season two, and I bought the season pass in season two, in season three, in season four, in season five, in season six. I have not bought the pass yet this season, and I probably won't. It's still the best value uh, when it comes to bang for your buck because the big benefit that you get from this battle pass is the, not the battle mo adventure multiplier, unless you're new to the game, but it's this production speed multiplier for your scrap and your ooze, especially once you're late game and you have a level 100. That 20% is huge and it really, really, really does add up. It's definitely worth more than 20 bucks if you feel there's value in this game. Um, after in buying the season pass for so long and having so many bugs and so many things delayed and not coming i don't feel comfortable giving this company my money anymore i will still play the game um i'm not as passionate about it as i once was um mostly just because of the lack of delivery uh from the devs and of course so some of the new things they've added have or don't really improve the the game at all their fluff and actually make the game not exciting like the skill screens and this new chest which takes longer to open up uh, doesn't doesn't do anything for me as a player who's been here since the beginning giving you guys my money um, I don't know what do you guys think about all that stuff let me know your thoughts in the comments down below don't forget to ninja kick that like button and subscribe for more TMNT mutant madness content I will keep putting stuff out there for this game as long as people keep wanting it and if you viewers are super motivated you want to see me buy this battle pass send some money to my paypal congrylive at gmail.com all right thank you guys let's game smarter here and we'll catch you in the next video